check this thing out. I uh, just brought it up from Bowling Green, drove it in myself, and uh, it's a recent trade in. It's a 2008 40 uh, quad slide, 42 foot, I'm sorry, quad slide uh, Monaco Camelot. Okay, and uh, all you uh, Monaco fans out there, this is going to be sitting on not just the Roadmaster chassis that they called the RR8, but the RR10. Why? Look back there, the tag axle. Okay, it's got a uh, tag on this, and uh, so it's got some extra airbags on it. Uh, you know, with the Monaco chassis, the Roadmaster, uh, pretty unique driving coach. And uh, coming back a couple hours from Bowling Green, it was a lot of fun to drive. Great visibility with a one-piece windshield, uh, full body paint. And uh, when, we, when, when we run the slide outs out, I'll show you the paint uh, is even on the, uh, uh, the side of the slides. Got all the awnings on it window awnings, topper awnings, power uh, main awning on it. This is truly a one owner RV and it was stored indoors its whole life except when being used. Um, turned over 17,000 miles on my way up here from Bowling Green, Kentucky. And um, like I said, it was a wonderful driving coach. Um, a lot of storage beneath, outside entertainment system uh, with television in there. Um, twin furnaces, nice side baggage doors, the slide out trays in there, more slide out trays, big propane tank, couple of um, takeoffs for uh, running propane appliances like grills and things of that nature. Battery compartments on slide out trays. 10,000 pound hitch capacity on the back. Nice wing up on the top. And a pretty, really a pretty, pretty paint job on the coach. Boy, it caught us on a cold day here in Indianapolis. What is it, uh, February 7th, Tony? Tony's our photographer and our web guy here. Does us a good job. Got the wheel braids. You can check inside and outside. Tire pressure. You all know already that on a tag you have a single wheel here, so just the one tire. Uh, the tire's 17,000 miles, stored indoors again. Macerator system. Macerator is a grinding system, so if you're not at a you know, like a, a regular uh, dump station, uh, you can actually run that to you can actually run that to a toilet in the house and dump your coach if you wanted to uh, with a long enough hose. Storage on both sides. This will let us know that we have the locking feature on the um, the doors with the key fob, so we can lock these doors. Side cameras. And I did something a little different. The camera was programmable. You could do just the back. You can do. You can program it for the sides. Um, it did what was called split. So you could actually watch the two sides and the back. And that was the first time I really drove anything extensively for several hours with that feature. And especially when it was getting into the, the darker hours of night, it was really um, something that was pretty handy to use. It was the first time uh, that um, I was able to use that feature. Uh, in, in actually on a true uh, a long drive and it was quite helpful. The big mirrors, big windshield, no centerpiece in there, kind of nice. Uh, diesel generator, um, three air conditioners on top. We're gonna go inside now, we'll put the slides out and uh, show you what this thing looks like inside and uh, this way you'll get real excited and want to give me a call and want to talk more about 2008 42 foot Monaco Camelot uh, uh, coach. Come on inside. Welcome back, Alan Schwartz on a cold day here in Indianapolis. Uh, we're actually um, Mount Comfort RV. Okay, I wanted to get the mileage. Okay, so like I said, it just changed over to 17 when we, um, as I was driving. Got this cool computer system on here. That's gonna, I'm low air still, but uh, trip meter on here, fuel economy, all kinds of different things. Here we go. Give me my averages of how much fuel I used, diagnostics on the engine, temperature of the engine, 
uh, this here, if I can get it to switch over, there we go. Um, your different oil pressure, turbo boost, things of that nature. So it's got the computer system, um, air gauges, um, engine temperature, transmission temperature, fuel gauge, oil pressure, um, exhaust brake, automatic traction control. Uh, basically what it is is a locking differential. You're, it'll work in the, in the low gear. I think it's first on these coaches. And um, if you're ever out in a situation, a lot of times with um, um, rallies and things, they park you out in fields and stuff. And if you've ever feel any kind of wheel slip, that's what that there is for. Bear with me, man. It's hard to talk on a cold day out here. Um, this even has a, um, as a tag axle. You can raise the tag on this as well. So kind of a nifty system here on, the, uh, on this uh, Monaco. Uh, of course, tilt wheel, telescoping wheel. Uh, the pedals are movable. The seats are power. Um, here on the camera, we can look at the split screen. So we're seeing the, uh, the right side, the left side, and the back. And then we can choose, um, wait a minute here, let me uh, select, here we go. Different types of, that's just the regular camera. The one side, the other side, some, uh, and then the split screen, and then the three split, which I drove the way home, and I, I found it to be quite, uh, quite comfortable that way to drive. Um, rest of the coach, a very nice two sofa setup. Both are sleepers. Over here, what I really was liking was the fact that when all the lights are turned off, I can hit one switch, and that goes all through the coach and backlight these so they're visible at night. Um, I got into some nighttime driving. I pulled over uh, to take a rest break, uh, grab something to eat, and it was very easy to be able to turn the lights on that way and see what I was doing, especially not knowing, you know, being real familiar with the coach the first time in it and those things. Surround sound, in motion satellite uh, on the coach. Um, quarry on tops. Um, pull out here. Tony, come on around here with me. We have more storage under here. More counter space. A couple extra chairs are hidden. Uh, in the coach here so you'll have four chairs pull out uh, let's pull out a little bit more it's really cold to quarry on today uh, side by side refrigerator with ice maker all our controls are kind of centrally located my slide room controls water heater controls um, tank indicators uh, EMS system power management system so if I am running on say 30 amp let's say I go to an older campground I don't have 50 at least I can run two ACs simultaneously with the system here. Uh, air conditioning and um, furnace control, and then uh, my uh, inverter, inverter, which changes, of course, battery power over to electric for things like, you know, on this coach, microwave, your plug-ins, that sort of thing, okay? Uh, as we go through, you'll notice nice solid woods throughout. A huge bedroom. King-size bed, sleep number. The extra chairs under the bed. There we go. A lot of wardrobe and closet space in here. I would think this would be something you guys would want to call me on. And uh, we take trades, of course, arrange financing. Um, all our coaches, when they uh, get sold, go into the shop, they get uh, prep, which means a technician will be assigned to it. They go through it, stem to stern, and, you know, I can't make a, a pre-owned coach brand new, but what you're looking for is to make sure that everything is working correctly, uh, that all the appliances are working right, the generator, the slide room, that the roof is in good shape, uh, that, uh, the, the, that the... Uh, uh, the furnace, the air conditioner, the refrigerator, the water heater, the holding tanks. And this is the stuff that we do here at Mount Comfort. And then as a, a customer coming in, taking ownership, you go uh, with a technician and they spend whatever time that you want with a coach, taking you through the coach and making sure that um, you're comfortable uh, with the operation of it before you head out on your first big trip. Anyhow, wanted to uh, 
show you this uh, since I just brought it in the other day. Uh, you can give us a call here at the store, uh, talk with me, um, and uh, hopefully uh, this would be the right what you've been looking for for a while. So if I can help in any way, I know you'll put it up on the screen, Tony, but it's Alan Schwartz, Mount Comfort RV. Uh, you, I hope you've seen some of my other videos that I've done here. Uh, this one's going to be a little quicker because we're cold. Uh, but thanks for watching, and I hope to hear from you. Bye, guys. We on? We rolling? We are. Little soft shoe? Okay.